many places to be. I got plenty. Act like you've been here before me. Start trending. Don't mistake me for a lame or goofy. Rock star life is like a movie. Hollywood, Hollywood, where you be at? I remember when I used to drive a Fiat. Now they looking for me like a Ray F. It's a conspiracy how I keep on getting checks. This money keep on falling like a domino. Special delivery and I got a lot to blow. Feeling like I've been here before. Think I was hitting me to the core. Then my beats flashing back once more. I'm feeling like I'm living in a metaphor. Yeah, it's deja vu. It's deja vu. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, it's deja vu, I can't escape this room. It's deja vu, it's a never-ending climb. It's deja vu when I'm in the rest. I'm like the Terminator screaming, I'll be back. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta take out the trash. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to the Thunderdome, where it goes down in terms of the truth, all right, out here on TikTok. For those of you who do not know who I am, let's get this stuff out of the way. I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H, all right? And uh, why do they call me Triple H? Well, it's quite simple. The first H is because I'm the most honest person out here on social media, there's nobody more honest than me, right? I promise to tell you nothing but the truth. So help me God. That's how honest I am, all right? The second H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I'm humble. There's nobody more humble than me. Listen up. If I get it wrong, uh, I will be the first to apologize. But let me let me say something about this apology business, all right? A lot of you are trying to take advantage of Zeus's humility. Listen, I'm not going to apologize for telling the truth. I cannot do it. I am so sorry. If I'm telling the truth and your feelings get hurt, that's what's supposed to happen. Oh! Wait a second. Oh! Don't boo me. Oh! Would you rather me lie? Oh! Would you rather me lie to you? Come on, folks. All right, in the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> Damn. The most handsome out there. Listen, many are called, but only a few are chosen. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, the chosen one. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what we do on this side of TikTok, me and my great friends, all right? Yes, we're Democrats. We vote blue. But what we do that's very important is we stand for truth, all right? And that requires us to hold our friends on the right, especially the extreme, dangerous, terrorist, mega Republicans, holding them accountable along with their leader, Donald John Trump. You have my 110% commitment, ladies and gentlemen, that no matter what their efforts are, are I will continue to get out here day in and day out, Monday through Friday, same Zeus time, same Zeus channel, and bring down this heavy hammer of truth on MAGA. All right. Now, uh, you know what we got to do, right? Because I got a couple of interesting topics to get through, and then I got to open up the boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to, to get in the box and tell the truth. You know, uh, I had a great conversation with my grandmother yesterday. She always gives me some nice words of advice for MAGA. I'll talk about that later, all right? But before we get into today's topics, I want to... Good morning, Toy. Nice to see you. I saw you creep up in here. Uh, and I see all of you, all right? If I don't say hi, it doesn't mean I don't see you. Uh, before we get into uh, today's topics, uh, I have to, you know, give uh, the MAGA folks a heads up. Uh, if you're not, if, if you're uncomfortable with the truth, right, you, you get all in your feelings, uh, you know, because we had yesterday, we had some folks trying to come in here and derail the programming because they were in their feelings. Please do me a huge favor, MAGA. Leave this live right now. Just do it. Don't sit back in your house right now 
Don't sit in your cars right now, wherever you're at, work. Do not sit back and screen record Zeus, all right? And then turn around and go post what I'm saying on your profile picture, on your profile, right? They go and they post pictures of what I'm saying, and they do some of the nastiest things. They cover up my handsome face, and they write all over what I'm saying with what they think I'm saying. Don't you dare do that. Listen, I post this stuff on YouTube. I don't need you to edit my footage on and then post it on your profile. I can post it myself, and that's what I do. What you need to do is sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast, all right? But if you don't like this truth, Magda, do us all a huge favor and leave, all right? You can leave my life. I, my feelings won't be hurt, okay? Don't worry about my feelings. You don't need to leave me a message. Don't leave no comments. Just leave, all right? And you don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, right. if you hate our country. And we know you do. If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, right. very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. And that's one of the rare times I agree with Donald Trump. You sitting at home and you're crying and you're complaining about what President Biden isn't doing for you and you know good and well you didn't vote for him? Get to stepping. My good friend Nutty has a prof Nutty professor, dark Nutty, ghetto Nutty if you get him there. He said, I'm willing to help Trump supporters get a first class trip to Russia so that they can go be with their Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. And he said he's going to pay for it. And I said, listen, if you're going to do that, I will match the funding too. MAGA, go to Russia. Stop sitting at home crying and complaining because you chose to back a corrupt leader named Donald Trump. All right. And, and none of them have taken us up on this offer, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, which just goes to show me. They don't really uh, they don't really know what they're doing out here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So let's get into today's topics. All right. I got a couple. I got to try to get through these as fast as possible. All right. Uh, so, yeah, if you don't if you don't like the truth, go ahead and leave. I, I really could care less about how you feel in terms of my delivery of getting the truth out here because we've heard enough from you. Donald Trump MAGA possessed demons. We really have. We really have. All right. Speaking of Donald Trump, MAGA possessed demons, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lauren Boebert yesterday, you all know, but I'm making sure I talk about it, was kicked out of a Beetlejuice musical for making a scene. All right. This is this is MAGA on display. And they, and they do this stuff on camera so that there's never a question about just how toxic they are. Ladies and gentlemen. Lauren Boebert, you know, from Colorado, a MAGA Republican, was ejected from a performance of the Beetlejuice musical in downtown Denver after causing a disturbance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! This is what she does. Causing a disturbance. In an incident report shared with the Denver Post on Tuesday afternoon. And by the way, there's video footage circulating all over the internet. You can literally see them walking up to her and, and whoever she was there with. I know he had to be, he had to be embarrassed. All right. Number one, he was embarrassed because listen, I'm I'm out here trying to just hang out, but I don't want people to know I'm with this lady. But then she gets there and causes a scene and he has to walk out with this animal. Wow. I tell you, I don't know where they find these people, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So the two people were asked to leave the city owned Buell Theater during the performance of the touring Broadway show. They previously were issued a warning during the intermission regarding their behavior that prompted three complaints from other theater goers. Listen, they were given warnings and they chose to ignore the warning. You know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised Lauren Bobert didn't follow the rules. I'm not. This is typical MAGA behavior. What are the rules? Oh, well, those rules don't apply to me. I'm MAGA and I'll do whatever I want, right? That's what she did. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
This all snowballed into Miss Lauren Bober being walked up to by security and told you got to get your behind up out of this theater. We don't care. We don't care who you are. You got to go. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, uh, she was escorted out of the theater. All right. And then she took it over to Twitter. And this is what she said. It's true. I did thoroughly enjoy the amazing Beetlejuice at the Beale Theater. And I plead guilty to laughing and singing out loud. Everyone should go see it if you get a chance this week. And please let me know how it ends. Ladies and gentlemen, join me. In giving Miss Lauren Bober and her, whoever she was there with, her handler, right? Her, her you know what they call the people in the, in the, in the circus who, who handle the, the animals. What do they call those people? Let's give that person and Miss Miss uh, Lauren Bober, Bober their daily dose of booze and shame. Oh! Token up inside of a movie theater, <laughs> Miss Bobert. We expect more out of you, especially because you're a parent, Be especially because you're a member of Congress. This isn't about you, Miss Bobert. Cut it out, all right? So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, give her her daily doses of booze and shame. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. All right. Thank you, uh, BOP. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's move on to some more. MAGA business. Do you want more MAGA business, ladies and gentlemen? Well, all right. All right. I got more MAGA business. You know we come with receipts. All right. Oh, my goodness. Vladimir Putin says that inflation in Russia is making it practically impossible for businesses to plan. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> you still want you you still want us to help you get to Russia, MAGA? Do you? Because there's some you know you know how they like to say it's Biden's inflation, Bidenomics doesn't work. Well, listen up, MAGA. I got some terrible news from you coming from your Lord and Savior, uh, Vladimir Putin. You know I think I I like calling them. I really do like calling Donald Trump supporters MAGA Republicans. But I'm going to think, I think I should start calling them uh, MAGA Putin Republicans, right? Should we call them? <laughs> yeah. And this is just a heads up. Inflation in Russia makes it nearly impossible for businesses in the country, in the country to plan. Yeah. And, and Russian inflation accelerated to 5.15% year per year in August well above the 4% target. What on earth is going on? MAGA, MAGA, please tell Zeus, tell Olympus, what's going on with the gas prices in Russia? How much are these eggs in Russia? MAGA, and, and then please connect this Connect this to, to, to President Biden and, and Hunter Biden, MAGA. How, how is President Biden's administration causing Russian egg prices to go up? Since you're so smart, MAGA, please tell Zeus. I would love to hear. And don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare start getting in your feelings out there in the comment section. Because I know there's a lot of MAGA folks out there. They're upset with what I'm saying. But listen, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin acknowledged in a speech this week that Russia's inflation problem is bad enough that it's become practically impossible for businesses to make any plans. Yes, the president spoke at the Russian, the Russia's Eastern Economic Forum on Tuesday, which was yesterday, touching on the economic problems that the nation was currently facing. It accelerated 5.15 percent year over year in August, well above the 4 percent. Target inflation prices that high make the economic environment extremely uncertain for businesses in the nation. That's a rare admission from Putin of Russia's current economic woes. Over the last year, Vladimir Putin has repeatedly emphasized the resilience of Russia's economy and put on a show of defiance despite the trade restrictions 
and soaring military budget biting, and I really do mean biting, biting into Moscow's finances. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Russia is struggling with inflation. It is worse than the inflation going on here in the United States of America. And, and, and Putin himself, not one time, said this was tied to Bidenomics. Not one time did he say this was tied to the Inflation Reduction Act. No. He said this is directly tied to Russia's own economy. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Vladimir Putin, all right, and the MAGA Putin Republicans their daily dose of booze and shame for this ridiculous inflation in Russia. <laughs> Take us up on our offer, Snuggles. Snuggles, let's be honest. Don't you want to go to uh don't you want to go to Russia, Snuggles? Snuggles, can you uh, answer this question real quickly? Do you want to go to go to uh Russia, Snuggles? Uh, zero cool? No, there's no lies being told here. I guess Snuggles doesn't want to go to Russia. He hasn't said anything. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, listen, we gotta move on to our next topic, okay? I, I'm I'm cruising. I'm cruising through these. I think I'm I'm doing pretty good. All right, let's move on to our our next topic, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Uh oh, NFL lawsuit bombshell. Mm, mm. I hate to do this, but you know we got another MAGA Republican on our hands that we need to address. Uh, and this one says if the black players don't like it here. They should go back to Africa and see how bad it is. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. This is this is this is this is why you got to this is why you gotta watch who you're associating with, and this is why you gotta make sure you let these folks know. I know exactly what you're saying when you say what you say. Half of these, listen, most of these folks who go out here and they vote for Donald Trump, you've already said this to me. That you've already said this to America. When you vote for Donald Trump, this is exactly what you say to the United States of America and the great people in it. This is what you stand for. Uh, pro football, they said, um, NFL reporter Jim Trotters, discrimination suit against the NFL includes this. He filed it in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, all right, and names the National Football League and the NFL Network's uh, Trotter's former employer as defendants. The complaint filed on Trotter's behalf spans a full 53 pages, all right? And this is what it contains, ladies and gentlemen. This is one excerpt from it, all right? An example. Let's read this together. An example. This is one references. Uh, who does this reference, all right? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Terry Pegula, all right? Owner of the Buffalo Bills stated interference to players' protest against racial injustice that if black players don't like it here, they should go back to Africa and see how bad it is. Listen, and, th and this is... This is not just the only person. We Who else do we have, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my goodness. Jerry Jones. We have Jerry Jones, <clears throat> owner of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he responded to a question posed, posed by Mr. Trotter regarding the dearth of black professionals in decision-making positions for NFL teams by stating, quote, this is what he says, if blacks feel some kind of way, they should buy their own teams and hire who they want to hire. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jerry Jones and Terry, let's give these both their daily doses of booze and shame. Oh! So, so why I bring this front and center to all of you today, because I want MAGA, the extreme 
MAGA Putin loving Republicans to really understand what's the real issue. All right. The real issue is not this silly back and forth nonsense you're kicking up on TikTok. MAGA, listen to what I'm telling you. You're out here on TikTok crying, crying from the bottom of whatever's left in your heart because you feel there's some sort of injustice against you. I told you, stay off this app, take time away from this app and focus on growing as a person. But for you to bypass all of this kind of stuff that's going on in our society, the open in your face discrimination, bigotry, racism, and somehow find a, a corner out of all the space that you can occupy. You retreat to a corner and refer to yourself as a victim of anything when, when you're the one riding around flying high. And, and, and I would argue privileges many Americans cannot enjoy. Shows Zeus just how evil and corrupt your hearts are. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, join me for giving MAGA another round of booze and shame for once again, ignoring the real victims and trying to pretend they are victims. All right. <laughs> nothing but liars all right and you've been exposed yeah yeah i don't you know I, you can say as many colorful words as you want to zeus i won't believe a single one of them because i see what you stand for every single day you get out here on social media and you promote this kind of stuff all right now let's move on to our next topic ladies and gentlemen all right oh my goodness Senator Tim Scott says people point out that he's single because they, quote, can't say I'm black. <laughs> once again, MAGA, once again, and, and Tim Scott, he's on your side. This is your guy. This is, you know, they say my guy. This is you know, my guy. Well, this is your guy. Own him. Why are any of you MAGA, Putin-loving, extreme MAGA folks, why aren't you rallying behind your friend, Senator Tim Scott? I see you on TikTok all the time trying to hold lives about how to end racism, right? You go into these people's lives and they're trying to, how do we end racism? Well, MAGA, here's a good idea. Why don't you all show America just how, just how, uh, non-racist you are. Show us you're an anti-racist, MAGA, by aligning behind your fearless leader, Senator Tim Scott, and start making excuses, all right? He's a 2024 GOP presidential candidate, and he has to now go out here and defend the fact that he's not married. Mm -mm -mm. And it's getting more and more attention over the course of his campaign because some of you MAGA Republicans are accusing him of being gay. Wow. <laughs> this is what they do. They throw the devil on you. MAGA, MAGA, listen, you know what? I got to play it again. Let me, let me go ahead and let Biden say what he has to say. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Yeah, and I and I hundred and ten percent agree with President Biden. MAGA. Every time I go through the news, I, I and I hear about things ho happening all over this great, beautiful country of ours. I could instantly tell you whether or not it was a MAGA Putin Republican. I could instantly tell you. All right. Uh, and last and like last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Senator Tim Scott insists that he has a girlfriend and says the attention on his relationship status is a stand in for other attacks. Wow. 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 You know, MAGA, I'm really disappointed in you. 
I'm really disappointed in you because you think that none of us who are critical thinkers and right can see you for what you are and what you stand for. You continue to fail every single ethical test that is thrown your direction, even the ones that are introduced by your own party. All right, let me give you. We didn't tell Tim Scott to run. This was something that was in your party that you all should be already said. You know, we can't, I get it, you're mad at President Barack Hussein Obama, all right? He's a Democrat, and I'll give you that. He was a Democrat. But what is your excuse for not backing Senator Tim Scott? What is your excuse for calling him, you know, accusing him of being gay, right, with no proof, all right? What is your excuse for being openly racist against this guy, MAGA, Putin Republicans? Please explain it to us, all right? And I know the answer you give me most likely will be a lie because there's not an ounce of truth in you. The only thing I see inside of these MAGA Republicans, ladies and gentlemen, is misinformation, hate, and uh, I would hate to say it, racism. So ladies and gentlemen, join me in once again giving the extreme MAGA Putin Republicans another round of booze and shame because they don't want to support Senator Tim Scott, who I wouldn't support because I'm not, I, I don't like him. But listen, if they want to end racism, they should support him. But they won't. So let's give them another round of booze and shame. Oh! So if you want to know my answer, for those of you who hold lives on the right and say you want to know how to end racism, I got a simple answer now. Vote for Tim Scott, can you do that? Put Tim Scott up against President Biden. <laughs> In racism over there right now, do it. All right, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll see some results like you've never seen them before. All right, now let's move on to our next topic, ladies and gentlemen. If they ask you, if they ask, if these folks ask you, uh, how to end racism on the right. Just tell them to vote for Tim Scott, all right? And let's see what they do. Don't, I, if they start giving you excuses, just drop out of the live and go on about your day because nobody got time to listen to liars, right? All right, uh, let's move on to some more uh, business going on on the right. Listen, MAGA, I see you're out there in the comment section and you're upset with what I'm saying and the information that I'm saying because it's so true. Listen, MAGA, if you're upset with what I'm saying, you can leave this live. You don't have to be here. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Right. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Right. Right. And I, and I, and I still mean that. Is there anybody out here, uh, I ask it all the time, but are any of you out there forcing MAGA to stay here in the United States? Is there anyone out here, uh, you know, that's forcing Donald Trump and his supporters to stay in the United States by a show of hands? If you're, if you're forcing Donald Trump and his supporters to stay here, please raise your hand. Okay. All right. All right. So, so MAGA. If you're not happy here, leave. Pack your bags and and leave. Don't do what a lot of people do, you know, when they when they're when when the relationship is over, they like to go, I'm not happy. If you don't do something for me, I'm leaving. Don't do all of that. Just get up and leave. We're adults now, right? We should be adults. Only adults are allowed in this life. So if we're all adults, MAGA, grow up and leave the United States. Pack your bags you actually don't even pack your bags you don't deserve to have any any american products wherever you decide to go just leave this country behind asap all right now after speaker of the house kevin mccarthy agreed to move forward with impeachment inquiry yesterday against president joe biden governor former governor chris christie had something to say he said listen although the ultra conservative house freedom caucus members like Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene have pressed McCarthy for months on opening the inquiry amid their investigation 
of the president and his son, Hunter Biden, other House Republicans like U.S. Representative Ken Buck or Don Bacon have been skeptical of doing so. <clears throat> All right. And <clears throat> this is what Chris Christie had to say. Democrat David Brock said he intends to use his Democratic firm to go on the offensive and distribute opposition research. <clears throat> targeting family members of various congressional Republicans and how they have benefited from their parents' positions in ways that Hunter Biden may have done so by his father. So what we're, what we're getting at, MAGA, is, listen, now, now that you're going after President Joseph Biden, the, the gloves are off, right? Let's do it, right? The gloves are off, right? The host asked Chris Christie this, what do you make of that? That seems kind of like what we saw during the Clinton impeachment. People going after Henry Hyde and alike. All right. And Christie replied, yeah, look, that's just what our politics, unfortunately, has involved, evolved into in recent years. And look, this part of what happened in the last two presidencies, Donald Trump's folks, his children, who? Jared and Ivanka? in particular, benefiting greatly from his time as president. Yes, billions of dollars from the Saudis. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Billions of dollars from the Saudis. Oh! Half a billion dollars or so from the, from the Qataris and the Emiratis. People have big questions about that as well. And I think you add... Why you would hire Hunter Biden to anything if his last name wasn't Biden? I think everybody is disgusted by it, but I think everyone's going to have their house looked at if they're going to throw stones. That is the way politics works these days. But if your family hasn't done something, that should lead you. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Christie is right. You MAGA Republicans. It's over. This is another sign that the MAGA Putin Republicans are once again about to take another L because we all know that they are totally corrupt and that they are totally cor compromised. All right. And listen, I wasn't always like this with MAGA. I really wasn't. But we have to be like this because the gloves are off, right? Everyone knows he's in, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind we to him, but now kinder. I can't be kind anymore because, because what? the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. The jar has been opened, MAGA. He's taken millions of dollars from other countries like China. He's totally compromised. He's taken millions and millions of dollars from other countries. Yes, yes, yes. And you know the rules, right? Every MAGA accusation is truly a MAGA confession, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's join Matt, join me in giving MAGA Republicans, all right, another round of booze and shame, all right, because they themselves are the ones that are totally corrupt and cro compromised and benefiting from taking money from these foreign countries like China and Saudi Arabia. Here we go. ladies and gentlemen, because I, I see that I've gone well over my time limit. Uh, and uh, I know that people require, you know, rely on me to stay on time. All right. All right. So I want to end uh, today's monologue by talking about one of my favorite topics, ladies and gentlemen. And you know exactly what it is. This is tied to what happened on or around the events on January 6, 2021. Many of you know I ask the same questions to anybody that I've started doing business with for the first time. One of the questions that I love to ask is, who would you say is the person responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6, 2021? All right. And everybody that's been following what's going on, reading the indictments especially, we all know that the person responsible for the attack on the United States Capitol, which I argue is a was a terrorist attack, 
is Donald John Trump. But yet and still, uh, you have these extreme MAGA Putin Republicans that will get out here and lie through their teeth. These are some real liars. These are some real liars. They believe. And if they don't believe it, that's even worse. But they, these folks really get out here and say this nasty stuff. So I'm going to make sure we talk about this before uh, I open up the boxes and hear from those of you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a PSA announcement to MAGA. All right. The chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> are finally facing consequences. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, after being convicted of seditious conspiracy in May, Proud Boys leader Enrique Tadio was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison on September 5th. Yes, Tadio wasn't physically present in Washington, D.C., but on January 6, 2021, but jurors agreed that he helped coordinate the violent effort to reverse the 2020 presidential election results and to keep Donald Trump in the White House, despite the fact that he lost. All right. Um, uh, in a recent article, OK, published on September 13th, these journalists went on to applaud the long prison sentences that members of the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers have received as examples of Trump supporters facing long overdue accountability. Isn't it great, ladies and gentlemen, that we are seeing these Trump supporters being indicted, uh, prosecuted, and convicted, and getting long sentences? Isn't that great? <laughs> it is. Elsewhere, signs of chickens coming home to roost are abundant. All right? Peter Navarro, Trump's former trade advisor, was convicted last week on two counts of, of criminal content of Congress for refusing to comply with a subpoena from the House Select Committee looking into the January 6th terrorist attack, right? Rudy Giuliani, Trump's former lawyer and fellow election fabulous, is listed as an unindicted co-conspirator in Trump's federal indictment for trying to overturn the election results. He did not escape being indicted along with Trump and 17 others for his role in seeking to subvert Georgia's 2020 election results, right? Let me see if I have that, right? Here we go. 2020 election results. Every individual charged in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's racketeer, influenced, and corrupt Organizations Act. Thank you, Fonnie Willis. All right. And in late August, he was found liable for defaming two of the state's election workers. All right. Remember Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss? And you know, all those lies they told on these sisters that put their lives in danger. Yeah. Yeah, MAGA. This is what we're talking about. The chickens are coming home <laughs> to roost. They really are. All right. Also, Trump is facing both federal and state Georgia charges because of his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. Quote, Trump attempts to threaten and coerce election officials into breaking the law to overturn the will of the voters are at least as serious as those which took which his shock troops are being locked up for. You know, he has these troops, all right? Could it be that most lawless of presidents will, like many of those around him, be brought down by, of all things, the rule of law? That's beginning to look like a real possibility. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving MAGA Putin Republicans their last, well, this isn't their last, but another round of booze and shame because the chickens are coming home to roost and they have been caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Let's give it to them, ladies and gentlemen. Oh!
because I tell the truth. Well, listen, uh, I'd rather tell the truth and be realer than you than to be out here believing lies and misinformation. All right. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up these boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. All right. You know what we do? Uh, are there any Trump supporters today? Uh, I do let MAGA folks in the box, but I only let them in the box if they are willing to apologize to the United States of America. So um, are there any Trump supporters, MAGA, out there? Are, you, are there any Trump supporters that after hearing this special broadcast have felt the spirit move over them? All right. And, and, and now you want to, you know, apologize and seek forgiveness. Are there any of you out there that would love to come up and apologize to the kingdom? All right. Let me see by a show of hands. Are there, Thank you, Brother Heaven. Matthew, you, you don't. You got the name Matthew. You know, that's a name in the Bible, Matthew. I hope you take some of this truth that I'm saying to heart. All right. And, and really let it roll around up here in your cerebral cortex. All right. So that you, you know, can can get forgiveness. All right. Because listen, I do these lives. Yes, it's for educational and entertainment purposes. But I know that it's actually having a positive impact on a lot of people's lives when they hear this this truth being shared so freely and they see that we're coming with knowledge. In fact, they go, oh, my gosh, Zeus, I was wrong. I was lost. But now I'm found. This is what they do. All right. So. Uh, I'm I'm encouraging you uh, to, to to have the strength, Matthew. All right, Matthew, I, I know you're listening to me. I am encouraging you uh, to 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 shame the devil today. Those people that you call friends, ignore them. All right, you're going to get a new circle of friends. All right, you're going to be you know what they call baptized in the way you're going to, we're going to get you baptized. You're going to go up, go down a demon and come up saved, Matthew. All right. But you got to repent and you got to mean it, Matthew. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show started. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my God. I'm going to start off with my good friend, Jerry. Good morning, Jerry. Can you hear me? Jerry, what the heck? Hello. Yes, Jerry, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. You know, I, I'm thinking I'm, I, I want to give up the mega, the mega thing, but I don't understand the whole thing that was going on about the football teams. Oh, okay. What do you want to know? There's, Why, what does there's, that have there's to do with racism. Mega exactly? The Republicans. How yeah. I didn't see the link there. Oh, Jerry Jones is a Dallas. He's a he's a Texas Republican. These are Texas and you know New York kind of style Republicans, Jerry. Oh, yeah. But isn't that what, what is that what is that what we want? We want freedom of enterprise, right? Capitalism all the way. Right. But right. What what does that got to do with being a good person? <laughs> Well, but what I'm saying is, what he's saying is that if you want to, you want more control over the industry, invest in the industry. Don't is just sit there and collect a check. Be a businessman. Mm, mm. Well, well is I that mean, all... I don't see why. This is not... Well, Jerry, Jerry, you're 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 way more intelligent than you come off, right? I know. I've talked to you a while. Could you please connect it in a different way? Why do you think this is turning? Why do you think this is escalated into a lawsuit? Well, I, you know, I don't, I don't watch much news as oh, you, and, and I come here for news report. So I'm assuming it must be that they feel like they're getting some unfair treatment or money or something like that, right? Somebody, what if, I mean, you can understand, you know, because you're a person of color, and I know that you experienced this kind of stuff before. Um, when yeah. somebody says something to you like that, doesn't it, doesn't it kind of give you the impression that this person is no good? What it, it basically, it's one of those things where if you want things to be different, they challenge you. You know, just like, you know what, Donald Trump, someone challenged him to run for presidency. Who? You know, they said, oh, you don't like it? Run for president. And you know what? He said, okay, I'm going to do that. 
And I would like to see a lot of these NFL players get together, buy a team, play, and and win. I mean, I, I, I agree, but don't you think there's healthier ways to challenge people, Jerry, besides being racist? You know, I, I don't mean, think I don't think the I don't think the statement was racist. I think he was saying if you don't like what we're, you know how things are going, you're making millions. Some of you, you know, you're making more than most most Americans, right? You're in the upper twenty percent or upper ten percent. Oh, wait, 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 and let you're let me make sure. I say this, let's, let me read this. Uh, if if the black players don't like it here, they should go back to Africa and see how bad it is. Now, clean. Now, now, please again, Jerry. Make that make that seem like it didn't seem because, you know, we're both people of color and I'm yeah, no, I, that you would you know what Jerry, that you would have enabled this guy to go even worse. Go further. than No, you. I'm I saying mean, this is bad. the last guy told them to go into business. Right. He said, you buy a team. The other the other two, I think they said the, the racial comment. Mm. Right. So that was inappropriate, but okay, at the same so, time. Well, okay, then. So you agree it's inappropriate. Thank you, Jerry. See, why do I got to do your homework for you, Jerry? Well, otherwise, you know, because this makes me this makes me need you, and I feel like it brings us closer together. Oh, okay, okay, but, okay, okay, okay. But at the same time, at the same time, you know, I kind of took that advice. Yeah, I took that advice. Everybody, go back to Africa. Jerry, okay. Let yeah, me I go to Africa and see what they're talking about. Huh? And you know what? I said, I said that people say that they've said that to me for a long time. Right. And you know, you don't like to go, to, go to Africa and see what it's really like. And and I and I did. And I'm like, huh? This it opens your eyes well, to something. Okay. Well, listen, Jerry. I gotta go through and bring up our next panelist. All right, my brother. Yes, and, and, and you keep working on your racism. All right. My racism. Yeah. Yes, I want to implement. I want. I want to. I want to represent a higher racism order because I'm looking for intelligent life on other planets so that I can, you know, have an interracial. Gentlemen, let's give Jerry uh, his round of applause. Wow! Wow! Oh wait! I, wait a second! Jerry! Jerry! I thought they were gonna clap for you, Jerry. I did, but I guess. I guess it didn't go so well. Uh, ladies and Jer gentlemen, listen, I've known Jerry for quite a while. You would be surprised that I would say, uh, no, 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 that, that wasn't the wrong button, Jerry. That was the crowd's response. You didn't, listen, these folks are, they hold me accountable. They say, Zeus, you got to keep it 110% honest. I tried my best to work with you, Jerry, but you... <laughs> If I didn't know you, I would have dropped you. I'm, I'll say that. I'll say that. All right. I, I will say that. Let's bring up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, is this clickbait? Clickbait. I saw you clickbait. Please. Please clickbait. Don't drop. I was going to interview you. Finally, you got enough followers. Listen, clickbait. He's been following me since he had four followers. He now has over 10,000, and he decided to go live with Zeus Clickbait. Please come on back in the box, Clickbait. Oh, yes. Oh, Suki Suki. And he's a MAGA Republican, all right? I know it, but I'm going to still ask him. Clickbait, welcome. Welcome, Zeus. Hey, just to let you know, one of your minion mods Don't blocked listen. me from commenting okay. on, the, on the live again. Okay, one, okay. one of your mods, one of your mods. So tell them to stop doing that. All right. Well, uh, before we get there, clickbait, and I got to, I'm, you know, I know where you stand, but I'm actually going to give you, how many followers do you got? How many followers do you got? How many you see? I got plenty, my man. Okay. Uh, am I the first person you decided to go live with? No, I've been, I, I went live plenty of times. Oh, okay. Well, do you know what? Oh! You don't gotta do that. All right, now I gotta I, ask you some questions. All right, I, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you some questions Absolutely. first. Click, click. I'm gonna say your new. I'm gonna give you a new name. Your new name is Jim Jones, and all your minions are drinking your Kool Aid. See, ladies and gentlemen, you see, 
You see clickbait? I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> clickbait, something happened. Uh, I don't know what it was, but something happened. It was, uh, you said my, my new nickname. Did you say my nickname was Triple H? Absolutely. My nickname is Triple H because, you know, I am the most honest, humble, and handsome person. You should know that. <laughs> We try. Well, you know what? Now, now we know who he is and where he doesn't stand. All right, let's bring up our next friend, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, I, I'm getting the I'm getting the tough ones out of the way, okay? Because you know what they like to say? They say Zeus, you, you don't talk to opposition. I do. All right. Good morning, brother Swerving. How are you doing, champ? You know, Zeus, I was I was thinking about some eggs, and that made me have to use a spatula. So I just backed off for that and had two bowls of my Count Chocula. Oh, wow. That is nice. That tastes, that so, sounds very delicious. So, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too shabby at all. Mm. But listen, Zeus. Talk to us. America's chickens, especially in the maggot party, are coming home to roost. Talk to them. And as these chickens come home to roost, they lay in eggs on the daily. Oh! Every time we turn around, a new egg has been laid. You mm. got Lauren Boebert out there running her mouth talking about if the woman chases Jesus, then the man will chase the woman. I don't think that worked out too good for her divorce. Nope. Then she goes in the public, like you said, at that at the uh, Beetlejuice uh, musical and made herself look like a fool and just thought people were going to accept it because she's Lauren Boebert and mm. she can do that because I'm a congresswoman and ain't nobody going to say nothing to me. And they threw her dumb behind out. Oh, out. The notorious GED got thrown out. Okay. So as these chickens come home to roost, like I say, they laying these eggs on the daily. Yeah. And yeah. I think most people would agree with me. They they're going out and they're just doing stupid stuff. Right. And then they want to claim, well, freedom of speech. Hmm. You know what? It's, it's five or 600 more people in that theater with you who came to hear the show, not it's, you. Right. Not everything is about you. She, she thinks she's Beetlejuice, right? Yeah. She thinks they came there to see her. Uh-huh. Wow. Because she won by 500 votes. <laughs> what a shame. You know, if, she, if she'd won what by like... Shame. 40,000 votes, I'd have been like, wow, okay, she must be doing something that the people connect with. I don't know. But she barely won. Right. I didn't come to a play. I didn't spend my hard-earned money to come oh. to a musical to see her act a fool. Right. Oh. And that's what I mean when he, 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 they laid an egg, and this egg was Lauren Boebert. <laughs> then, you, then you got Marjorie Trader Green, the three-toed sloth howler monkey, who <laughs> was basically sitting there, she running her mouth, forcing an impeachment inquiry. Oh, and then wow. Kevin McCarthy is flipping out. Right. He's like, he said back in 2019, I would never do this without a house vote. I'm not going to bring this up without a house vote. We're right. not going to do this. No. House vote, house vote, house vote. Right? right. And then he just says, I've set forth an impeachment inquiry with no evidence. Everybody on the oversight judiciary, um, and I forgot what the other committee is, um, the, the leaders of those committees have come out and said publicly, I have not seen any solid evidence. None. So this gives us access to bank records, which they've had access to bank records. Right. You know, it, it just amazes me. Right. They're, they're sitting there trying to make this secret connection between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and Burisma. And it, it just don't make no sense to me. They have no evidence of anything. They're embarrassing themselves because at the end of the day, you know, James Comer said, uh, you know, the Biden administration needs to cooperate with us and turn over these ev this oh evidence or these records. God. And they have, you know, a couple weeks ago, a couple months back, uh, James Comer was like, yeah, they've been very cooperative in handing over bank records. And, right. you know, we've gotten 100 percent cooperation from the administration. Right. Now he's on TV talking about we need cooperation from the administration. They should have turned these records over. So mm. which is it? Which did you is get it? The records or did, did you not get the records? Exactly. So, so another egg is being laid because America's chickens are coming home to roost. So another egg is being laid. They about to waste our tax dollars again. 
on impeachment inquiries that they have no evidence of an impeachment. Right, right. And as I said yesterday, you know what? Go ahead and impeach him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let it go over to the Senate. Oh, and go ahead and remove him from office. Oh, please. Go ahead. Because please. I have always wanted to make sure I live to see the day where we had a female president. Ooh, so goodbye, Black Joe Black Biden. Black. Goodbye, yeah. Joseph Biden. Yeah. Though we never knew you at all. <laughs> we had the grace to welcome Madam President Kamala Harris. Hey! So go ahead and move him on out if you can. Yeah. Nobody's going to care. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I heard, I heard my timer, man. I'm going to get back to my Count Chocula. Yeah. And uh, Zeus, I'm going to let you get back to running the kingdom and tend to the affairs of the kingdom. You be yeah. good. Be safe, brother, mm -hmm. while you're doing it. I will. And I'll see you tomorrow, my friend. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Brother Swerve in a round of applause. <laughs> no prize protected. You see, you can survive in the box for the full three minutes if you don't start getting in the box being nasty and lying. I just don't get why MAGA is struggling to be be upstanding citizens and tell the truth. Why is that so hard for you, MAGA? Clickbait, especially you. You've been in my lives every single day, and you still struggle with this. You're getting an F in the class. I mean, I've never seen anybody come to class every single day and still get an F. Oh! gonna go into Zeus's live and I'm gonna tell him the joke of all jokes well what is the joke all right because I got a joke right my joke is like this uh what do you call a criminal that doesn't get caught and the answer innocent right and you know some say president by what do you call a criminal that keeps getting caught answer guilty aka Donald Trump now that's a joke right <laughs> Jim Jones, that is, listen, who thought of that joke, clickbait? Come on, come with more entertaining content. If you're going to be just toxic, you got to have more entertaining content than that. If you're just coming in being mean, mean and nasty, I'm going to I'm gonna drop you. All right, now check it out. You know, Snuggles likes to come in my live, and he likes to say, winning, you know. Well, Snuggles, I got this picture especially for you, all right? As you can see, in front of the, you know, American flag, you have President Joseph Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. And right above them, you see the words, winner! <laughs> Go let a real winner, Snuggles. Go let a real winners. All right, let me bring up some more people in the box, all right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's do Shady. Welcome! Shady Lane, welcome. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing great. I'm doing great. You're doing great. How many box, boxes of Frosted Flakes did you have, if you don't mind? Or whatever cereal it is. Cocoa Puffs. Two bowls, man. I'm on two bowls of Cocoa Puffs. Hey, yes, I love it. You definitely sound like it, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, how, what brings you to the kingdom go. this lovely morning? So, you know, I wake up with y'all every morning, but Thank you. Uh, yeah, I was listening to the whole, the whole racism part in the Tim Scott and, mm. you know, he should have known, he should have known off the bat that they wasn't going to accept him. It ain't about him not having a wife. Uh, it's because the uh, complexion of his skin, we all know that. Right. And uh, same thing about the, you know, the football team talking about go to Africa. But one of the comments that I was reading earlier this morning on your, in, in the comments, was someone that said, you guys just, uh, there's racism because that's all you guys like to talk about. If you stop talking about racism, it'll go away. Oh, Morgan hmm. Freeman. Morgan Freeman stuff that's, that was repeated. Keep going. That's it's like saying butt's dirty, I'm just going to walk around with a dirty butt and hope that it magically gets clean. Y'all are nasty. Okay? <laughs> right! Stop it. They Stop think it. We, and last, they think we dumb. Yeah, exactly. Last night, racism is very prevalent in MAGA. And I have come to the conclusion to that MAGA 
equals racism. We were in a live last night, and I literally, we literally got called the N-word with the hard R. And we also, by another caller, were told that we were going to swing. So, and these were from MAGA. These are from MAGA people. Wow. So, so when y'all tell me, let's get along, we don't hate people, MAGA loves everyone, y'all lie. Y'all are a bunch of racist confederates, mm. as Itchy would say. Itchy it is a confederacy. Wow. That, that is what MAGA now stands for, and I don't care what any of you say. I have seen it over and over and over. When wow. MAGA people get mad in these lives, the first word that they go to is the N with the hard E-R. I'm here to give you a PSA. There are a whole bunch of words in the dictionary that you can use when you get mad that do not start with the N and end with a hard E-R. Hmm. So you might want to pick up a dictionary and start learning those words. And don't sit there and try to blame your anger on using racist words when you get mad. I'm sorry you're uneducated. I'm sorry that you're losing. And I'm sorry that your orange Cheeto Jesus is going to jail. Hmm. But that does not mean that I am my ancestor and that you are going to call me out of my name. No lies detected. So racists, racists are here and they are MAGA. And I'm, I'm sorry, not sorry. You can say all you want. Well, I'm a Republican. I'm not MAGA. If you vote for Donald Trump, you are MAGA. Therefore, you are racist. You sit down. You lay down with dogs. You get bleed. You are guilty by association. No lies. So, I'm, I'm just putting it out there because yeah. I'm sick of it. I yeah. am sick of it. Yeah. I'm over. Racist is not going to go anywhere until we address it. It's not going to go anywhere by you closing your eyes and standing in a corner and wishing it away. Exactly. You hear this, MAGA? This is why this is why you're feeling the pressure right now, because the curtain has been, you know, taken back because Donald Trump helped do it. All right. And, and we're now confronting you directly. You can't hide behind it anymore. You can't hide it anymore. We see it for what it is. Good morning. Yeah, exactly. And it's disgusting. And I mean, they sit here and they will literally threaten you on live. Mm. And I'm like, this is a live. This is not, you know, this is not our real life. Mm. If you have nothing to do but call people names, racist names, and threaten to unalive people, like you are sick, you are crazy in the head, you are part of a cult, Mm. and you need help. They do. They need real psychological help. They really do. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm. Trump has has let them come out from underneath their rock and made them feel like it's okay. But anyways, I heard my bell. So you have a good day in the kingdom, too. You as well. And continue to celebrate and have fun and enjoy your day, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Shady. You see, this is what we. This is why I do what I do out here on this platform. Uh, it just reminded me once again. You said you went on a live and you heard them saying this. Where are those? Where are those hypocrites? Those fake, so-called Christians that came into my live yesterday and tried to derail it. Where are they at? I do hope that in the middle of their selective outrage that they try, they tried to weaponize yesterday, I do hope that they are in their current party right now addressing racism. Because a failure to address this only divides, deepens the divide even more when it comes to us supposedly somehow coming together and getting along, all right? Thank you, Shannon, thank you. So uh, to my friends on the right, and I'm using the word friends because I wanna be P, what do they say, PC politically correct, right? Uh, I expect you to do something about the racism in MAGA. And, and, and you know what? I, In terms of when this should have been done, this should have been done years ago. So as far as I'm concerned, you don't got any extra time to ask questions on how to address it. No, boots on the ground and get out there and start holding the people in your party accountable. Effective today. All right, all right, let's bring up our next.
panelists. All right. See, I, you know, when y'all when y'all start getting Zeus worked up, I know, I know, I need to move on and talk. Let someone else talk. All right. Good morning, brother attacking. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Hey, um, have you, you ever been? To, have, have you ever been to Africa? Have I? No. So how, like how can you go back? Uh, I, you know, that's a good question. Okay, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. um, I'm noticing them, they're talking about Joe Biden being uh, being removed from being impeached. You they know. are. Don't what they realize mean? that when they say Joe Biden's going to be, you know, removed from office, he's impeached, that when Trump was impeached, they said that uh, he's been acquitted, so he's not impeached anymore. Right. So they don't seem to know how impeachment works. You are impeached by one uh, side and then removed from the other. So mm -hmm. when you're not removed, that does not kill the impeachment. You're still impeached. Right. Uh, Clinton's still impeached. He just wasn't removed. Trump's been impeached twice. He just wasn't removed. Right. Go ahead and impeach Biden because he's not going to be removed. Right. So quit saying he's going to be removed. And if he is removed, we get Kamala Harris. Hey! So, so it's not going to be a loss. It's going to be another win. So for you guys to keep saying that, and then for you people to, to, why don't you ever have documentation to anything that you say when we ask? Why do you just spew things and lies uh, without ever pro providing proof to like Zeus or myself? Why, why can't you guys do that? Why? Can't I mean, is it is it that different? Zeus does it every day. Every day. Every morning, Zeus comes with receipts, but every yet you morning. guys don't have one. Hmm. I mean, the only receipt you guys have is to McDonald's or Jack in the Box. That's the only receipt you have. But you don't have any other receipts for anything no. important. You know, you know, so it's it's just so amazing. Zeus has been doing this every day, five days a week, twice, sometimes uh, a day. Right. Put it out this information and you guys still follow a lying ball of orange Cheeto dust. Right. And without any proof that he is telling you the truth, you believe everything he says, hasn't shown you one thing, and people under him have been arrested, have been fired, have been prosecuted, are under are under investigation, right. and you still don't have anything on Joe Biden. You any docket numbers? Jay I'm sorry. Do they have any docket numbers on Joe Biden? You know, no, and they don't even have they don't even have the proof in regards to so-called money laundering or or bank receipts. What about but, uh, Tara Reid? Uh, Tara Reid. Uh, yeah, don't even worry about Tara Reid. She's, she's was he found liable with Tara? No, he wasn't found liable. No, as a matter of fact, she ran to Russia saying that she was threatened. Mm. But yet, E. Jean Carroll whose life was also threatened, stayed in America, kept pursuing the, the accusation, and she won not once but twice, and on January 16th, she'll win for a third time. Wow. And so wow. I won't do what Nutty does and just keep talking. <laughs> oh my god listen nutty is definitely one of our worst actors and by the way yes there is a lie i do need to address all right it turns out uh nutty uh is running around telling people that zeus is not handsome more handsome than he is ladies and gentlemen uh i hate to do this to a good friend of mine but nutty may have been in one too many maga lives or perhaps and yeah, it, it is lies. I would give him booze and shames, but I, I'm I'm not going to do that because I'm actually more concerned about my brother. But I do hope that Nutty is listening, uh, and and he knows uh, that he shouldn't do that. All right, because now he's encroaching upon Zeus's business, and you know no one should ever cross that line. That line is like that line that Biden talks about with NATO. 
You know, when he's talking to Russia, don't you cut, cross that line not one inch. Nutty, don't you cross that line one inch when you start talking about Zeus's handsomeness, all right? All right, it's, it's not good, all right? But, I'll, you know, I'm hoping he self-corrects, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring up our good friend, the beautiful Shay. Hey, hey, how are you? Oh my goodness. Yes, yesterday was a, a very, very interesting day, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, that was lovely. Did you hear any of them, uh, all the outrage, did, they, did any of them bring up racism and how they want to rid it, the country of it? Did they ever get that far? No, no, not at all. Not at all. They just want to go onto other people's platforms and tell them what they can and cannot say. You know, mm. that's what they want to do. They want to control people. Wow. You know, I, I just, that, that's, that's what's so astonishing to me that they, as I said yesterday, that you, you think you have the, the rights or mm -hmm. just, just how did that get in your head? Right. Let's go swarm into Zeus's live right. and, and cause a ruckus. But right. they're the Matt Gates of MAGA, right? Matt Gates <laughs> is doing the same thing. <laughs> the Matt Gates of MAGA. Wow. They really are. I mean, look what Matt Gates did yesterday. I mean, just got on the House floor and basically said, so here's McCarthy, who's opening up basically an illegal way of doing an impeachment, right? You're supposed to take a House vote. And you know, the Trump administration was the one that pushed that through the Trump DOJ right. after the first impeachment. And he's like, you have to have a House vote in order to move the impeachment forward, right? Right. They put that in the law, and here's these Republicans going against the Trump DOJ mm. and doing an illegal way of doing an impeachment without taking a vote. And the reason they're not taking a vote is because they don't have the votes. Wow. Kevin McCarthy knows this. So, but he's under the pressure with three toed sloth and, and all those idiots. And he uh, he decided to go forward only for only for the Freedom Caucus to be so angry at him for doing that, right? Why were they angry with him? I saw <laughs> Matt Gates give a terrible, nasty speech, and I said, "What the heck is going on?" Well, somehow he made some deals, as you remember. It took him fifteen times to get him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Matt Gates was a huge holdout, and he made a deal with him. And mm. so, according to him. Kevin McCarthy has not upheld his part of the deal, which was to basically uh, up, uh, basically balance the budget, right? Oh. Oh. So they're upset with him for mm. not closing down the government when, you know, when we paid off the debt ceiling. They're oh. upset with him. Oh, cry me a river. He's supposed to put the screws to the Biden administration, not actually do things that's right, right? Like you balance the budget, you come upon agreement, but we always pay off our debts. You always pay off your debts, people. Right. That is a debt we owe. You do not not pay off our debt. That's what that is. We owe people money. Hey. So for you to sit here and say we shouldn't pay off our debt, let me ask. Let me uh, ask you this: How does that work for you in your personal life with your credit card companies? <laughs> it doesn't work that well. Trust me. It, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work, work well. I'm looking for you. Yeah, and so we don't we don't run our government like you run your personal life, obviously. So, and that's the thing. And they're upset that he's not turning over the apple cart, that he's not creating any kind of like ruckus, and because that's what the Freedom Caucus wants. They want to completely disrupt the entire form of our government. That's oh. what they want. Yeah. And they want nothing but you know schmazies to come in and do their thing and and just completely take control of everything. Project Twenty Twenty Five. If you have no idea what that is, please look it up. It is a six hundred page document on what they want to do once they have control. Right. And it is not good. And those of you that still care about your country, but yet still vote Republican. Uh oh. Please read Project 2025. But yeah, so Kevin McCarthy is about to be booted just for doing this uh, inquiry. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah. As he should, as far as I'm concerned, all of the MAGA Republicans need to be booted. Oh, absolutely. And I'll, I'll, I know my time's up, but remember, this is all supposedly Biden did this while he was vice president. Wow. This so they're is gonna nothing. Obama. They're going to try to impeach Obama too, huh? Well, of course, this has nothing to do with what he's done as in the office of president. That's what impeachment's for. 
It's for what you do as president. It's not for what you might have done when you were a senator, what you might have done as a VP. Hmm. This is not what impeachment's for. It's for you going against your oath of office to keep this country safe. Exactly. And that is what it's for. So you don't take any bribery at the head of it. So anyway, so it's just it's just hogwash. Hogwash. All right. Just crazy. All right, my friend. I'll go. All right. Bye. All right. Love All you. Right. Bye, everybody. Let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. No lies detected. All right, no lies detected. You know, we run a real tight operation over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do not allow lies and misinformation to float around freely, all right? Because they will not be tolerated at all. Good morning, my good friend. Nutty, Professor, how are you? So uh, September 13th is about to become synonymous with 9-11, with J6. Oh. It's about to become synonymous because I, right now, I am staging an insurrection oh. in the kingdom, in this oh. kingdom. Oh. I'm now staging an insurrection. I'm rising up against Zeus, <laughs> who taught all that crap. See, see, we were on one accord when we were talking about MAGA, but you had to come for me. Yeah. You had to come for me. <laughs> I don't see, see, like my, like, like, like my grandmama used uh -oh. to say. Now you got you a don't believe, too? Oh. You don't believe fat meat's greasy. <laughs> you, you, you came, you came after the professor. That is that is a fatal mistake, sir. Oh, I'm only telling the truth, nutty. That, that, that's not that's not the truth because uh, listen, listen, listen. When you got me out here in these TikTok streets yeah. agreeing with snuggles. You know hell has frozen over. Facts. And, and last night hell froze over it because did. Snuggles told the truth and said that I am more handsome than Zeus. And we know that's the Nutty, truth. Are you okay, uh, Nutty? Are you okay? We know. We know that that's the truth. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, I think there's a split somewhere in the universe, perhaps, and. Uh, Snuggles may have ran through that in reverse uh, in one of his Trump trucks or on the Trump train, perhaps. I don't know. But if you and Snuggles do not stop spreading this lie out here in Olympus, uh, listen, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Listen, listen brother, I, I, I'm, I'm pleading with you. I, I have a reputation to uphold that I can't be out here in these streets agreeing with Snuggles. Okay, okay, well then do us all a favor and start disagreeing with them. Tell the kingdom now oh, that Nutty is not <laughs> the most handsome in the kingdom. Please, Nutty, go ahead. Tell the truth. It's like my grandmother always says, you got to tell the truth and shame the devil. There's a lie. So listen, listen. I can't I can't agree with you, brother, because I agree with Snuggles on this one. I I just I, I agree with Snuggles. So but anyway, You're worse than let's you. let's just put it this way. We're gonna we're going to agree to disagree on this one. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Even though all right, listen, uh <laughs> nutty, nutty, I don't know what to do with you, all right? I don't know what side you're on, but uh, I'm I am always and forever will be on the side of truth. Okay, all right, that's a good place to start. All right, that's a good. Place and so the truth, the truth is, I am one fine mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, listen, y'all, y'all, listen. It's it's nice to be able to laugh. Okay. We all need, we all need some laughter. You know, after a long hard week day whatever take some time for your own mental health and just laugh right right it, it's, it's good for the soul yeah it, it really does i mean as you can tell nutty i've been laughing for quite a while and look at what it's done to my looks right it, it, well listen listen <laughs> i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you credit sir thank you i'm gonna give you credit since for the last year and a half since i've been coming into your life mm -hmm. I, I have laughed so hard Mm. Because looking at you just makes somebody want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I. Listen, you ain't got a minute left, Nutty. I gave you a 
lot of extra time. Uh, and you better somehow figure out how to clean this up. And I mean, spick and span, Mr. Clean, Mop and Glow, a bucket and some water is a great place to start. Listen, so I, I, I do appreciate you. I do appreciate you. And y'all, in, in the comments, if y'all can't tell, we're brothers. I love this man. I love this man. Thanks for having me up, man. Just take, I just wanted to not talk politics today. Okay. And I just wanted to tell folks, just have a laugh because Amen. you got one life to live. Amen. Just one. Amen. And if we keep stressing over the devil, mm. he will absolutely take your life. So don't give the devil your life. Take some mental health time, mental health space. And this is for you as well, Janae. Take some mental health space. This is for all of us, not just oh, Janae. Yeah. And just laugh. And with that, y'all be blessed. All right. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would say no lies detected, but I can't. Let's give Brother Nutty a round of applause. <laughs> I do recommend uh, the mental health aspect. Uh, many of you who've been following me for, for quite a while, you know that's that's how I got started on TikTok, uh, promoting mental health, okay? And I think if you don't got that foundation under control, stay out of all kind of lives that involve uh, topics that are triggering and it may include things that are considered toxic because if your foundation isn't correct, you're not going to know how to navigate those spaces, all right? I'm being 100% uh, honest with you. All right, let's bring up our next guest, ladies and gentlemen. Sister Takesha! <laughs> all right, all right. How are you doing? Good morning. Hey, Zeus, listen. Okay, hey. You know, they say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's right. <clears throat> And we know that Nutty got to be beholding all of his beauty by himself. <laughs> you got to know it, Zeus. But listen, check this out. You're right. I got to I gotta, I gotta come at somebody that was in the comments yesterday. They came after me when I got off. Oh, and, really? I, and I cannot remember his name, but I'm just going to call him Tiny Below the Waist Tim because oh. what he can't do is come for me. Mm. He said, when I said I was at the bank, he said cashing a welfare check. Oh! I don't know why white people think that all black people are on assistance when statistics prove that there are more white people on assistance than any other race, you know, they made up their race, than any other real race out here in this world. So they really need to stop saying that. I said that he got to have lowest low self-esteem from the small stream mm. that he wish he could have at the bottom. Mm. Now, let me get on to the topic. Tell him, Takesha, tell him. I yeah. realized yesterday why Kevin McCarthy's wife can buy him thongs out of Victoria's Secret. And it's because Matt Gates is holding his testicles. Oh! His you got a position of power with no power that you beg for. So all you really doing is sitting in a seat, holding a tight. You have no power. That's embarrassing. It is. It really is. Oh. That's just like me going to get married, but my husband going back to live with your girlfriend. Oh. Just for me to tell him, man. Now that's what is the purpose? The uh, Takesha, that's hitting below the belt. What is the purpose? Mm. <laughs> he makes me see. I'm sick of him. I'm what? sick of 3D GED, Lauren Bobert. Oh. I want her to sit down somewhere. I'm really just sick of MAGA. Oh, Lord, you're sick of him. I'm sick of MAGA. I really am. See, you can't, people can't stop voting for stupid people because they stupid. <laughs> stupid is as stupid does. Stupid like is as stupid does. Ooh. And it's getting really, really ridiculous. What Joe do you Biden think about getting kicked out of the Beetlejuice uh, musical? I thought that she was mad because that was her family up there, you know. <laughs> Cause she kind of favor, you know, Beetlejuice. She could be, she could be, be she could be Beetlejuicy, you know, Beetlejuice's sister. We'll start calling her Beetlejuicy. So I thought she may have been offended because uh. the family didn't put her in the in the you know in the little drama. Mm. What do you think? 
Mm, that's what it was about. You know, she was, they said she was in there vaping and laughing uncontrollably. She was upset because the family didn't put her up there, you know, Beetlejuice and Beetlejuicy, you know, and then, you know, so <laughs> that's probably what it was. Oh my God. Oh my God. That probably is what it is. Oh I'm my God. I'm telling you that's what it do you is. Think her, do you think her handler was uh, embarrassed to be there with her while this was happening? No, nah, probably because when he got home, she probably handled him. Oh, Lord! Yeah. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. Probably gave him the hand of, gave him the hand job of a lifetime. Oh, Lord have mercy. Because uh, she has nobody, so, I mean, you know, she probably doing the best she can. Oh, Lord. Oh, I Lord. mean, who wants her? Look at her. Mm. I Look can't. Her. I can't. Don't make me. Don't make me. Oh, it burns. It makes me. Don't Oh my god oh yeah that's all i had to say but i can't remember the man name that said welfare check but i'm sure he got my message i'm sure he's in here but people need to understand don't ever come for me because i'm a dog walk you the next day oh tell him with a collar and a pooper scooper because oh. you're gonna mess yourself when i get through amen amen no lies detected ladies and gentlemen all right Zeus, you have an awesome day all right, you have an awesome day as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Tajisha. <laughs> Taking out the trash is one of the best things that we love to do in this kingdom. Yes, they go, you take the trash out, you know, put it in the trash can, and then they take it to the dumpster like that. Oh, yeah, you know it's going right where it belongs, all right? Let's bring up our next panelist, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Good morning, Miss Boss Diva. <laughs> oh, wow. You bring me on after Takesha? Wow, that's fire. You never know. You never know, right? I mean, it is. It's hard. Girl, you are, you are a motherfucking... I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got that. I'm sorry. I got the toilet. Okay, my bad. I forgot how how uh, early it is too. <laughs> but at any rate, um, sorry about that, Zeus. It's all good. It's all good. I anyway, I, my stomach is hurting from uh, from from the laughter and everything. I mean, you were nutty, and then you know this is this is wonderful. This is a wonderful little little exp experience today on your show. Right? Thank you. Thank you. You work real hard. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, we know you do. So look, <laughs> um, I had to talk about this racism part, right? Because, oh, let's do it. Um, you know, because they always ask, right? Maga always asks, why do you hate Trump so much? Like, that's the number one question, right? <laughs> Even, you know, people doing videos about it. Why do you hate Trump? Why do you hate Trump? Well, the the very the very notion of him being racist from way back when when he was in the womb mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying and right. he was born into this silver spoon kind of thing and then he just ran with it from there right now he's uh, evolved into uh, a maga cult that you know spreads hate and that's what they do because you know i was on the panel with shady when, you know, the hard ER was hit, you know, like, <laughs> like a brick to the face, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, it was like, wow, that's all you came up here to do, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's basically what they want to do. They just wanted an outlet to showcase what it was that they've always wanted to do in the first place. And that's mm -hmm. my, that's my humble opinion about right. the whole situation, right? Right. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, I wanted to bring, bring up the racism thing because Skeletor, has always been racist, okay? Jerry Jones is always, yeah. I call him Skeletor, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he reminds me of dude, you know, yeah, <laughs> every time yeah, I see I him, see so. It. Yeah, I can see the connection. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, he's always been like that, and I'm, you know, I don't understand why, you know, they folks want to even play for him, but I guess that's a whole nother, another video, another, you know, show. <laughs> so. Right, you know, money does talk, I get it, and then you find out, you know, you find yourself going, was it even worth it, right? Right. How much money can someone pay you for you to tolerate this kind of ridiculous nonsense? Yeah, and it's, you know, mighty funny and strange how, you know, on 9-11, Aaron Rodgers get hurt mm. after four plays, you know, 74 million, out for the whole season, 
or however many million, I don't even, you know, I'm, I lost count. That man, he, you know, he gets the pen to the, you know, the ink to the paper right. anytime he wants something. So, um, yeah, you know, that's, that's crazy, you know, right. And he had all this conspiracy stuff to, to say about 9-11. And it's just, you know, really, it's, it's, it's a racism thing that's all across the board, whether it's Muslim or, or you know, whatever religion. And then it's, you know, the color of your skin on, on top of that, too. So it's just weird, man. I'm like, MAGA, y'all got to do better, man. That's all I got to say. Y'all yeah. got to really look inside yourself. But I heard my bell. I love you, Zeus. Love y'all in the kingdom. And uh, stay safe and healthy. You know, right. I'm out. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Miss Barbara. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, when you when you hear about stories like this, right? And, and you know, they try to say, "Oh, uh, I didn't see this as being racist." You know, uh, they should go back to Africa and see how bad it is. When when you hear statements being said like that, especially when it comes from people that are literally, uh, I would say, dwelling in an abundance of privilege, it definitely doesn't sit well with me at all, all right? I mean, if I would have heard somebody saying such a thing, I would definitely be in favor of taking whatever measures I could to, you know, what they say, like those, these old folks like to say, clean their clocks, right? <laughs> How you try to spin this, it's racist, all right? So any of you MAGA-possessed, demonic individuals that think such a statement is acceptable, let me be the first one to tell you this is unacceptable and don't even try it. You don't, you don't have the bag either way, right? You don't have the bag to fight this lawsuit, all right? So listen, don't, don't get out here and start acting like you are these NFL owners, MAGA, because you will find very quickly that you're not when they drain your bank accounts and do God knows what else to you, all right? I know a lot of you think you can act and behave like Donald Trump and, you know, all of these so-called elites, but I want to caution you. The moment you engage in such conduct out here in real life, you will experience consequences like you've never felt before. <laughs> Let's bring up our next guest. Oh my gosh, it is almost time to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good morning, Agent Blue. How are you doing? I like that name. I'm doing fantastic. Oh. You know, I think President Harris is the best thing that could possibly happen in this country oh, right wait now. Wait a second. Now this is our first time doing business, correct? Greetings, Donald. No, you've you've been you've been requesting me to come do a debate with you for a while. This is your buddy Beer Can. You oh. know, the one you've been skirting around and blocking so that we can avoid talking? Yeah. Oh, oh, so How you, you doing? Agent Blue, so you decided to come in with a Democrat account. Is that what this is about? Well, you see, you block, you, you invited me in and then blocked me from coming in on, on oh, my I, other account, oh, so I, I figured. I didn't block you. So that's where you started. But yes, off. I've been blocked yesterday. I was blocked yesterday. I was blocked today. I was blocked both Beer. times. Beer can, uh, you call yourself Beer Can Mike, right? Yep. Now, when you get in the box, it's very important that you tell the truth, all right? I am. I was blocked both times. But did you you made a mistake though. You said Zeus did it. I am I am well, not the one blocking you, all right? So I need you to retract well, did? Statement, beer can, Mike. Well, who did? Who blocked me? Well, it wasn't you who blocked good, me. That's a good place to start. But I'm running the show. My moderators can block who they seem you know who they see is fit to block so perhaps you should say zeus i was blocked by your moderators all right fine zeus i was blocked by your moderators i okay, didn't know okay, i had right. no way of knowing all right i didn't know you were blocked all right so let's get this let's let's continue you got three minutes and i hope you can tell the truth in these three minutes uh beer can mike who's going by AJ. fantastic all right so yep so the next lie you told you said i'm skirting away from you no i'm not so what do you okay. want to say? Well, I mean, I've made several videos that I've sent you in our private messages mm. that I have asked you to respond to that you oh. don't. Oh. I've, I've given you ample opportunities to show that you can, you know, tell not just the truth that you want to tell, but, you know, other truths as well, but can you I won't address them. Can I ask you a question, Beer Can Mike? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think 
I have to respond to every message you send me? No, but we were oh, having a okay. conversation. So, wait a second. So, Beer Can Mike, you sound like you believe you're one of these NFL owners out here. You think. No, not at all. Jerry Jones can go F himself. No, I completely agree. Jerry Jones is a racist. Wait a second, uh, Beer Can Mike, who snuck into my live with his Democrat account because, you know, Agent Blue, that makes me think you're a Democrat, right? Well, actually, up until 2015, I was, as I've told you, you know this. We've had deep conversations in private about this. I, I don't remember everything you say because sometimes I think you're lying to me. Like you're making up well, this account call. You, why didn't you just call that? That's mutual. And Mike, too. Why don't you just call it that? Well, if you knew the story behind the beer can thing, you would understand. But I'm not going to go into that. Okay. So anyway, they, it, it's relevant, but it, I'm not going to go into the details. Okay, so, so, so let's get back to what I want to say. So you don't own zeus we got that understood right i never claimed to well well when you get out here and anyone like this anyone that does what beer can mike just because you send somebody a message doesn't mean they have to reply to you maybe zeus is no i know but we were in the middle of a conversation maybe zeus is too busy whatever happened to giving folks the benefit of the doubt well because we were right in the middle of a conversation that was active and then for several days i sent you messages Hmm. And you responded. You just didn't oh. respond hmm. specifically to the things I was asking you to respond to. That's and I gave you a very specific challenge, which was to show that you're not just taking advantage of your of your of your followers to get them to buy your merchandise by telling them what they want to hear and hiding the actual truth of the matter. Oh. And you refused to take the challenge. Hmm. So, hmm. so is that all you have to say, Beer Can Mike? That's pretty much it. I mean, I in my video, I mean, my top pin video right now is the challenge if you want to respond to it. Okay. If you want to go, like, watch that video again, because I know you watched it already. If you want to go watch it again oh, you know and I then respond to it, then respond to it, that would be great. Okay. Well, I'll take that under consideration. Beer I'm sure you will. All right. All right. Great. All Have right. a good one, buddy. All right. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's Beer Can Mike, who goes <laughs> Listen, you know, you know, uh, you know, I'm really getting to these folks when they come back and they tell me how what I say is impacting them. And by the way, uh, yes, uh, if you may have messaged Zeus, beer can, Mike, I want you to know there's a lot of people who message Zeus because of the wonderful work that I am doing. And I do recognize while you would love to have Zeus be right there at your every beck and call, unfortunately, that's not quite realistic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give uh, Beer Can Mike. Uh, I don't think he deserves beer, booze and shame, but he's trying to get it together. All right, he's trying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me bring up another panelist before I get up out of here. Greetings, Bamba. How are you? How are you doing this morning, Bamba? How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm like laughing and then I'm getting serious and it it all goes by who you're following right you know right. so if i'm in front of if i'm coming up behind somebody who's cracking you up i i could come in and totally depress everybody you know you no, gotta you're fine listen listen you gotta go no, with the flow here we don't know who's behind these accounts this is what makes it kind yeah. of fun this is what yeah. makes it fun yeah all right so um first of all uh that is racist that football player coach jones Bingo. Uh, he goes he reminds me of george wallace and i don't know if anybody remembers george wallace but us boomers can remember some stuff that might be helpful mm -hmm. look up george wallace he ran for president look up the crazy crap he said so um that's the he's like almost like george wallace perfect right so, so that's disgusting the other thing about mega mega you know what you got to read how the newsies started, mm. right? right? So I saw a, a video yesterday and it just made me sick. Um, a, a young guy, a young black man was uh, showing posters that was being put on his school. Wow. Uh, in his neighborhood. Uh, and it said, white lives matter. And the pictures that were in it, are, on it are of the newsie, the newsie art. The new mm. CR, okay, mm. and and that's how you know what they started with. What they, they started out with? Are you blonde? That is the poster that went all over 
Austria and Germany. Wow. Are you blonde? Wow. Now, stop and think about this. How did that impact our society? Mm -hmm. Wow. How wow. many people are dying their hair blonde? Give give them the give them the truth about this. This, this is it doesn't start out as coming out and saying, "Hey, I'm going to, you know, unalive you and I'm going to uh you are taking all our money. No, it's little. It's little. Are you blonde? <laughs> are you blonde? Tell them. Tell them. And you're strong. Mm -hmm. You're strong because you're blonde. Tell them. Right? Well, right. then what's that happen? Look at the Gerber babies. Mm. Gerber babies. Tell How about Copper Tone baby? How about um all, if you go back and look at advertisements throughout the year, you're blonde. Right. You know? Everybody's blonde. You want to be blonde. Yeah. Right? Barbie's yeah. blonde. Mm. It starts with just those words, doesn't it? Yes. Mm. Are you blonde? Mm. Is that disgusting? That, it is. But it, it was so, so sneaky. Levels. It was sneaky and it impacted the world. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah, so absolutely. next time you go to put blonde in your hair, stop and think why. Mm. I mean, I... You know, well, I'm white. I got white hair, <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I just wanted to point that out. Now right. That you got to look at the rules or the book. I mean, right. it's classic. Right. And I don't. I don't think people realize that Putin is a white supremacist. Yes. <laughs> Why do you think he wants Ukraine? He's got everything that Ukraine has. He right. has so many resources that he hasn't even tapped into. Hmm. What's he want from Ukraine? Exactly. Yeah. And then to even top it off, he's backing, the Russians have been backing all the wars in, and the, the fights in Africa, the continent. Every war that's going, every fight, is is got the Russian involved? Uh -oh. Okay, so what he's he said over and over again, and I was so confused. He's building six compounds in Russia for wow. the boars, and I'm like, what's a boar, wow. right? Besides a pig, well, it's the white people in South Africa. Oh, they're not signed up for that. Oh, so mm. it, that's he's like. He's going to make camps for white right. people in Russia from South Africa. I mean, what this is thing. insane. That is the, there is his, there's your clues, guys. Look at your clues. You know? Yep. It, but, know yeah, ben, what is it that they say? There's your sign. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, pay attention. This is, this is insanity. It and, is. um, this guy, this, oh, and the other Jones, the radio Jones, mm -hmm. was just on uh, Russian TV, national TV, trashing our country. Wow. Well, listen, Bamba, I got to wrap all it right. up. Thank you. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached that point in the live in the show where Zeus must depart and tend to other affairs in the kingdom. All right. It was a pleasure checking in with all of you especially to my moderators, my subscribers, and my day one friends and family. I, actually, all of my friends, I really do appreciate it. And also, to my critics out there, my critics, my, my detractors, my haters, uh, I appreciate you surviving this live, but I got a statement to make, you know. Beer Can Mike and, and Clickbait, they came into my live just like those goons did yesterday and they tried to hijack it because they themselves are struggling on this app to get engagement with their content all right so i got some words for clickbait and beer can mike before i wrap this live up and go off and handle my business let me make sure i say this to you all right clickbait and beer can mike this one's for you jealousy is a sign of weakness. <laughs> Take care, ladies and gentlemen. And have a great rest of your morning. Sweet
most handsome in the kingdom. And I really am the most handsome. <laughs>